Nyaji here, welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing our discussion with data pre-processing and in this video we are going to discuss about how can we handle the missing values. Okay, so there are uh, different techniques uh, that we can uh, to handle the missing values but a uh, few of them we can discuss in this video then we can um, maybe I will split this video into one or two I mean two or three videos. Okay, so it will be like easy to understand. Okay. So the first question is um, how to check uh, the missing values in data frame. Okay. So first we can see how can we do that. Okay. So for that first what I will do. I have already uploaded a uh, CSV file or the data set in my uh, GitHub repository. So let me copy that. Okay, let me take this link here. Okay, so this is the data set and first what we can do, we can import patas. Okay. Then we can take a data frame and we can write pd.readcsp and we can give this particular URL. Okay, so we have our um, data set. Okay, now <coughs> there are few ways that we can understand about um, missing values. First one is we can uh, maybe first we can check the shape. Okay, so this will give a uh, number of rows and columns. So we have like uh, 3818 rows and 92 features. Okay, now we can have a we can check the info. So it's with bracket. So info will give us uh, some information. Okay. So we can check this. So here um, in this we can see. Let me adjust. Uh, okay. So here we can see the columns and its count and the known values and data types can be seen using uh, df dot info. Here we can see uh, the column name is id. And it has a 3818 records. Okay, so when we come to here, we can see that it has only a 2786 records. Okay, so but we have actually 3818 rows are there. So some of the rows are empty for uh, neighborhood overview. Okay, and its data type is object. Maybe it's a categorical value. Then we come to scroll down. We can see that there are a uh, lot of values are. Uh, lot of features are missing values so in this way it is little hard to see so there is another method that we can see uh, is so this will give us a data frame okay which is containing so if, if any of them are uh, empty then it will be set to true okay so here I can set it as I can calculate the sum So here we cannot see like few records okay uh, so to see the records to full record we can type a command okay we can set period dot set option we can set the maximum rows Okay, now I executed that. So this will give us the number of um, null values in each features. Okay, so better we can sort it. Sort values ascending. Maybe we can set ascending as false. Let me run it. Okay, so here we can see okay. 
here we can see the features and number of um, empty columns okay so for license we have like a 3818 records are there square feet we have 3721 records are empty so there are lot of records are empty here okay so one one simple method and easy method is we can remove those empty columns okay or we can remove the empty rows okay so that is a one one simple method okay so one of the challenges advantages which is which is very easy we, the removing the features or the removing the rows are very easy but the challenge is um, like we will be missing like a very important uh, features for example <coughs> if this license feature is uh, very much important for this particular data set then what will happen if you remove that one uh, then the data set will be like a, a kind of a no value data set right so it is better that we can go ahead and uh, ask the domain expert to or the data collection team to collect it and um, uh, like a fill the uh, we can request them to give a good data set so that is a one option but most of the time you will not get that okay so that is actually a, a drawback of removing the features so if you remove the features we will be losing some um, uh, some important feature okay uh, so if, if we have like a, a lot of data then uh, or lot of features then removing may not be a problem but still it is depends upon the the import uh, the feature that we are going to remove okay so what we can do we can to remove that it is very simple so first let me take a copy of the data frame so that is we can simply take df dot copy so that is the uh, method that we are going to remove okay so here i can ensure that everything is copied so here i can check the shape okay so this is the shape okay so we are good so to remove the rows one simple method is just uh, df dot copy i can type drop na so this will uh, remove okay so this will remove all the uh, rows or all the uh, rows which has a empty value okay so let me run this okay so this is the problem here is that um, uh, it's, it's removed everything okay so let me type the shape okay drop and then there is a to reflect into that data frame we need to set that implies is equal to true okay now we can check the df copy dot shape see there is zero records okay so here we can see that this particular feature license okay in that all the features are empty okay the total row count is 3818 right but all the records are empty for this license okay so in that case what happens if you if you type like df dot um, drop in a without any constraint it will remove everything okay so here maybe i can i can add few constraints so let me uh, copy it again here I can say that here we can say there is a uh, feature called how so there is a value that is we can apply the threshold uh, so let me check that Before that, there is uh, one feature is there. Let me check that feature. Okay, here we can say uh, how. Okay, first we can discuss about how. Okay, so by default, um, how is uh, any. Okay, which means uh, if any of the feature is empty, we will remove that. Okay, so instead of that, we can give all. Okay, so if we put all. 
this row will be only deleted if all the features are all all the features in that row is empty okay so let me try this df dot copy how is equal to all now let me try df dot copy dot shape okay so here uh, none of the records are removed because um, there is no record is available with every every feature is empty okay so that is why it is not removing anything okay then here i can set a one more thing okay here i can set a threshold so this will not work with uh, any here i can set a threshold threshold okay so i can say that remove the record only if uh, some some rows are empty okay so here we have 92 features are available right if i say okay if um, keep records dot has at least 89 okay so if 89 features are um, available or 89 features are non empty okay those it will keep only those records okay so let me run this now let me take df dot copy okay so this removed few records okay so if you type df dot uh, if you write this again if you write this again okay so we can see that it's removed a uh, few records no no this this is not the case let me copy this let me paste it here df dot copy so in the df dot copy it removed see it removed most of the uh, records are it's removed okay now the features that is available the record that is available are okay only few of them are non empty okay so in this case what it will happen is when we set a threshold okay so you consider if you have like a 92 features okay so in that case if uh, 90 89 features are available or 89 features are non empty then it will keep rest of the records it will remove it that is what actually happening with the threshold okay then another way all in this scenario we were talking about what we called um, um, the records right so now we can see how can we remove the columns okay so for that removing the columns or remove the features are the very similar okay so here i can take a copy of that remove dot columns i can type df dot copy okay to remove the column i can type it as df dot call okay and i can uh, df dot call dot drop na right this is also very simple drop in here i can set the axis is equal to one okay so this will consider the column base okay so here we can see the details okay. then how will be any okay consider this is the default thing and let me play in place is equal to true So it's executing here we can see the df dot colon dot info or i can say uh, is na dot sum dot sort values ascending is equal to false So if you look on this, this is removed few features. So for that we can type df column dot df call dot info. So 
sorry you can type the shape okay it's actually removed a uh, few columns that is um, earlier it was 92 now it is only 42 i think it's 50 percent of columns are removed okay so now all those these columns does not have any null values okay now here also we can do the let me make a copy again here also we can do the threshold okay here i can make a threshold thresh i can set a thresh and i can say that this will only remove remove a feature if it does not have uh, enough data i can set the data as um, 3000 okay if it has um, it will keep a feature okay so if it has a number if the total number of row count is 3018 18 right okay so if you set thresh as 3000 okay if any value it does not have uh, this many non values non null values then it will remove that okay so let me run it again okay so here i can type the shape then it's actually removed 10 records okay so in 10 records it does not have this many records as non empty okay fine so that is um, all about uh, in this video okay so we discussed about how can we uh, how can we load a data frame okay so how can we handle the mixing miss, uh, missing values so we discussed about the first scenario uh, handling missing values by removing the rows or columns so i believe i have explained it in detail about that we can remove in different ways we can remove like with by adding a threshold that is a, a good way to remove the thing in both ways in both columns and rows we can remove it with a applying a threshold okay so in our next video what we can do we can discuss about other method like mean imputation median imputation all those things we can discuss in our other video so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye